Welcome back to Guns of Glory. I'm Real Blood. And I'm going to talk a little bit about talent points. Um, Yeah. Now, I usually keep most of my talent points in war, but we're going to go over all three. Let's start off with balance. And balance is for beast hunting and troop training. Um, uh, I feel like there's not a high demand for this for, for the beast hunting. The beast stamina will come in handy during certain events. But the troop training, good deal. So if you are uh, planning on pushing troops and you want to use this, you got those troops training, you're going to want to uh, take it as far as your training capacity and training speed right there, one and one. Keep going, keep going. And you want to take it to population surge. You're going to want to use this. So reduce the amount of resources needed to train and heal troops for 25% for a period of 30 minutes and a 24-hour cooldown. So that's going to help out a lot with your troop training. And you want to keep pushing this bad boy to, uh, for far as troop training, that's about it. Now, this instant heal is really cool. Free instant healing of 10% of your wounded troops in your estate for a 24-hour cooldown. Um, not sure if I'd want to put that many talent points that far just to get that. Especially if I'm planning on losing troops, then I'm going to want to, uh, you know, keep most of my points in war. But, you know, that being said, after the war is over, if I wanted to swap those points and, uh, you know, take it that far to do the instant heal for the 10%, I don't know if it's all that worth it or not, but it's there if you guys want to give it a shot. But yeah, this is balance tab is mainly for beast and troop training, so... That's what I suggest if you're going to swap to that for that. Let's go to economy. Now, economy is for building and gathering. Building and gathering are these buffs. The instant yield. You definitely want to take it that far. Uh, instantly harvest five hours of resources uh, production from all your resource buildings with a 12-hour uh, cooldown. I have this on my farm accounts. You know, I, I use this quite often. Every time I go over there and collect, I, I hit that instant yield button. But the instant yield isn't the best part. If you keep going, there's another instant yield. And if you're going to, okay, there's a development button, which is good if you're if you're training. I mean, not training, excuse me, if you're building. But the one I like is, where are you at? Where are you at? The other instant gather. This guy right here. Um, all troops. Currently gathering resource tiles. I'm going to add that word tiles uh, to to this. All troops gathering resource tiles to have their load immediately filled and those troops on their way back. Now we're talking about food, wood, silver, uh, iron. Uh, this works on farming tiles, not your resource, not your alliance resource uh, farm. It's not going to work, but... I haven't used this before, but now that I'm, you know, that I started checking all these out really closely, I'm going to try this, man. I'm going to be pushing for C31 here pretty soon, and I'm going to need to start gathering resources, and I'm going to switch my points into this. Uh, hopefully, I can get it that far. I don't see why I can't. You know, you go out, you take, you know, five uh, uh, level seven mines or, or uh, uh, silver mines, uh, rather, and you hit that button, they all come instantly back. Heck yeah. They send them right back out to collect again. Of course, you'll have to wait. You won't be able to instantly send them back. But if you double dip that with uh, your instant yield, you know, you could be putting out some serious uh, resources uh, in your main or, or your farm accounts. It's probably good good uh, uh, things to use for your farms. So that's my thoughts on the economy, which is used for construction and gathering. Now we're going to go to war. Uh, I'm going to be honest, most of my points stay in war. I hardly switch. Um, it's getting to the point where I am going to start switching to uh, two things in balance and economy, mostly economy, for what we just talked about. But my suggestion for war is to just push it as far as you can to get to the end. We're going to start from the end, and we're going to work our way back because that's how I roll. Back to front. 
<laughs> Back to front, people. So, you want to get this to the end, and, and, and I worked really hard to get this to the end for the all-troop attack, the all-troop defense, and the all-troop health. So right here, let me close that. So right here at the end, these three at the end, I mean, those are those three stats at the beginning. And those are very important, and you definitely want to push it that far if you can. But if you can't, life preserver. You know, we all want life preserver, especially if we're fighting. KVK, uh, PVP, whatever the case may be. You know, converts 30% of killed troops into wounded troops until your hospital is full, lasts for 30 minutes, and 24-hour cooldown. Good book. Good book. You got to pray to that Bible, people. Bring them troops back to life. And we're going to work our way back. Uh, other than that, my focus was uh, on health and attack of uh, distance in this portion. And my focus was uh, cavalry health and attack in this portion. And battlefield treatments on there. Just because you had to get through there. Um, once I get some more points, I will be putting it into that infantry health three. It's uh, infantry is 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 very. I was going to say become has became very important. Has become very important rather, but it's always been important. And uh, you know, it's it's like okay, I want my most stats. Uh, my best stats and my best stuff and my best buffs all to be into my attacking troops and my attacking stats because, you know, everybody wants to kick ass. But a good defense is a good offense. And when it comes to defense, it's infantry. And, uh, you know, I've learned that the hard way uh, over this past year. So I've been working on my infantry. So I'm going to be coming back and filling that guy in as soon as I can. And as artillery, you know, we all think the same about artillery. If I have anything extra, I may put it into it. Other than that, uh, I'm, I'm taking a detour past you. Colossal March. Use it all the time. Everybody uses it all the time. I use it all the time for multiple events, multiple reasons. Uh, increases your march capacity by 10% for a period of 30 minutes and 12-hour cooldown. You know, I use it for the wolf, I use it for the underworld gates, I use it for attacking, I use it for uh, um, all events. This is just one that should always be turned on, um, in my opinion. It should always be unlocked. And then once we work our way back, you know, I, I went with cavalry instead of infantry on this. I may switch that around. Um, I'm starting to rethink how I do things and... Um, I may switch that around for too long. But for now, that's where it is. I'm going to start putting more and more into infantry and uh, trying to get those guys big and strong. And this portion right here, of course, you know, we're going to avoid that artillery at all costs. And we're going to run through, uh, looks like I did cavalry one. And distance, definitely. I'm a big distance fan. Emergency recall. I mean, that's just like a priority in my opinion, um, everyone should have emergency recall uh, activated at all times or unlocked at all times, in my opinion, unless you're swapping your points. And even then, I'd still, you know, try to have enough just to keep emergency recall unlocked. Uh, you just never know when you need to get your butt home uh, in a hurry. So those are my thoughts when it comes to talent points. We covered war. We covered economy. We covered balance. And good stuff. So it's kind of personal preference when it comes to war. You know, it kind of depends on your stats and where you're at. So, uh, all right, everybody, there's some of my thoughts. Oh, one more tip. If you're using balance and you're doing troop training, there's also uh, a wonder you can use to help you out. I'm not going to switch over to the wonders, but uh, you know where to find them. And same thing with economy when you're building. Uh, when you're mostly when you're building, there's a nice little wonder in the wonder store that you can temporary wonders that you can uh, purchase to help you out there. And same with war. Uh, there's some really good wonders in the wonder store for helping you out in any kind of a war situation, as far as boosting your attack or, or you know having your airship ability defense abilities home, 
uh, while you're attacking or uh, you know, popping bubbles or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can find some good wonders for all these three categories uh, in the wonder store. But that's just a little bit about talent points and the things that I like are in the things that I want to be able to try and the things that, uh, you know, you got to you, you gotta have. All right, everybody. Royal Blood, 158. 